Thanks for tuning in this Wednesday. 2K Sports presents the NBA. Kevin Harlan with you, joined by Doris Burke, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge reporting courtside. And so off the tip... It's Albuquerque. LeBron outside. Rem Benyama, a screen. For three. Good on the triple. And when Rem Benyama is connecting from deep, he is downright unguardable. This is how special a talent he is. Now, here's Yao. Pass to Abdul Jabbar. Lock at six. Durant, wide open. He fires. Good. And Abdul Jabbar gets the assist. And that's exactly what he's looking for draining the triple. Outside, O'Neal. And again, Albuquerque with the triple. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. And a wide open look for Ben Benyama. Three. And again, Miami with the triple. And when Ben Benyama's making that, I just don't know how you guard. Ben Benyama, a screen. This one for three. And again, Albuquerque with the triple. Oh, great decision there. Get it to Wimbenyama and let Victor finish as the roller. Outside Durant. And Wimbenyama throws it down. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. Pass to Wimbenyama. Back to Durant. Fires from deep. Miami grabs the miss. Here's Wembenyama. He's got five. Here's Yao. Kick out to Giannis. Traps in the tray. And Yao just so big, he's able to see over the top of the defense. And that allows him to find an open teammate. Now here's Durant. Green by Bird. Back to Katie. And they come right back with their own three-point. Just reliable, guys. He's just always trying to make the right play. Pass to Anstikumbo. A three from Wembenyama. And a great assist by Anstikumbo as that one goes in. Zero hesitation from Wimby. Coming into the lead, just trusting his jump shot. Durant with a wide open look. And again, Albuquerque with the triple. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. For three. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. Yeah, it reminds me of that cameo song. Back and forth. First personal foul. First team foul. 132 left here in the first quarter. Bird outside. Let's it go with a three. And bringing that effort on both ends. Giannis, a tall, wily guy who forces you to take tough shots. And Shaq with the slam. There is an imagination, a creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. 
ties it from the top of the key. And another basket for Miami. Well, coaches might discourage that kind of look, but he'll take it anyway. There's 53 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. And here's James outside. Hits it from three-point range. We often see LeBron James with the ball in his hands creating for himself or others. That time, a little catch and shoot. The easy one for LeBron. So far, both teams scorching the Nets. You gotta love it. Well, you love it when you can get off to a fast start offensively. You hate it, though, when your opponent does the same. Here's Juan Benyama. He has six. To the inside. And the dunk by O'Neal. Well, LeBron James always surveying the floor. Few players in the history of the game have the court vision that LeBron has. Now here's Durant. He has six. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. There's 25 seconds left to play here in the first. Here's O'Neal. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. It's going to be on Victor Wembenyama. Many would say that's the smart play. Sending Shaq to the line where he's, let's say, a little less dead. O'Neal hits them both. Well, this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line. And boy, has his stroke been on the money. Benyama with it. He's got 13. Back to Abdul Jabbar. Here's Giannis. Shaquille O'Neal getting it done for Albuquerque. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. We come back right after this. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And what stands out to you from Albuquerque in this one so far? I know it's early, but all those three-pointers, boy, do they add up. And that's what has them ahead in this game. Their floor spacing has been just tremendous. Screen by Smith. James. And LeBron throws it down. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. And right now you love the chess match, right? The ability of each side to adjust to what the other is doing. Now a timeout called by Miami. by Smith. Six to shoot. Stolen by Boozer. Pass to Mirazan. The three. And now we've got the intentional foul. Josh Smith. First personal foul. First team foul. Just left side. A three. Albuquerque again can't hit it. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Here's Rice. He has yet to score. And the jam by Turk Nowitzki. Oh, playmaking isn't a focus for Rice, but this opening just too good to not make it. And that one's good, but pretty. This is as pure a shooter as there is. You've got to stay connected or it's a problem. Pass to Rice. In change shot. Ilgowskis, good. And I like how tenacious Ilgowskis is. Once he catches the ball, he feels like no one is stopping him. And James picks up the foul. That's his first foul. 
second team foul. Miami on defense. In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. Inside. Hero side. Yeah, the court awareness that Luka plays with knows exactly when and where to deliver the pass. Back to James. And he goes right over Luka Doncic and slams it down. And what an explosive finisher LeBron is. Rocking the rim whenever he goes up like that. And when it comes to Luka Doncic, he's simply, Greg, one of the best players in the entire game. No question about it. He's a threat to record a triple-double every time he takes the floor. As versatile and dangerous a player as there is in our league. Pass to Murasov. McGrady outside. Shoots the three. And he jams it with authority. Yeah, and you got to respect the size McGrady has. Easily seen over the defense there to spot the open man. Here's Rice. Now, here's Ogalskis. To the left wing. Shot clock at six. Here's Rice. No good on the three. And Albuquerque with the possession. They trail by one. What a basketball mind when you think about Luka Doncic. This guy in the break is exploiting defenses. Now here's James. Down low. And the jam by Ogoskis. Ooh, a little extra on that one. He does. He doesn't usually finish soft either. Obviously he can when necessary, but not that time. Here's Murasov. And again, Albuquerque with the triple. The defense focused on Boozer's scoring ability, and he found an outlet with a great look there. Nowitzki outside. Tries again. Now a timeout called by Miami. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Gotta love Nowitzki setting his guys up with perfect passes. Miami trailing. Pass to Rice. And here is Ogowskis. And good that time. Ilgowskis has got eight points. Well, guys, this first half has been about as tightly contested as you could hope for. There have been a lot of lead changes. About three seconds between shot and game clock. And again, it's Albuquerque. We've got 13 seconds left to play in the first half. Pass to Rice. Puts up a deep three. And a close game so far to the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Albuquerque out in front, up by one. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in just a moment. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. And here's Abdul Jabbar. He'll bring it up for Miami. It's a one-point game. And Benyama outside. Wide open. Buries the jump shot. And Benyama has got the first basket of the third quarter for Miami. Pass to KD. Back to LeBron. No good on the triple. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. Right, he stays connected and great timing on the contest. Rembenyama gets the bucket. 
And this is why many are excited about Wimbenyama's future. Such a unique, versatile player and scorer. Now, here's Durant. He's got six. Six on the shot clock. Albuquerque needs to get a shot off him. And Benyama, that's for two. And the jumper off target to finish the break. Albuquerque trails by four. Right around a minute and a half. Played here in the third quarter. Back to O'Neal. And Benyama outside. Over when Benyama. O'Neal. It's deflected. Durant with the steal. Top of the key. That doesn't go either for Rem Benyama. Well, terrific defense. They obviously respect his ability and just want to make it tough. Outside, Abdul Jabbar. The three from KD. Buries it from three point range. Durant's got the lead up to seven now for Miami. Rem Benyama, a screen. Oh, KD buries the three. How competitive is Kevin Durant? You make a three, I'll make one right in your eye. Pass to Wem Benyama. Outside for KD. And again, Miami with the triple. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor spacing. And right now, Greg, he is doing a great job delivering for this team. Productive and efficient. O'Neal wide open. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. But it's no good. Yep, that one goes. And that's the beauty of Giannis. Always been a willing passer and can find the open man once the D focuses in on him. Man, you look at the hype surrounding Wembenyama. Greg, it's unreal. One of the best prospect profiles, really since LeBron. Almost unfair to try and live up to the expectations, but he's got the tools to be one of the best to ever play. Yes, that goes in. And it's an 11-point Miami lead. And you know what? They've been on a nice run here. Have the ability to widen the gap. Now they are rolling. This is a dominant stretch. I am so impressed with how they've played together as a unit over this last stretch. And Abdul Jabbar gets it to go. And you just look at the grace, the agility, versatility that Jabbar brings to the center position. Can beat you in so many ways. And Durant puts up a deep three. LeBron grabs the miss. Albuquerque trails by 10. And here's Bird for three. Outside for Ren Benyama. And now they decide to foul intention. You're not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Now a timeout called by Miami. Unable to get the ball in bounds, they get called for the five-second violation. Here's James. For the three, James cooking from deep. LeBron worked tirelessly early in his career on improving his range shooting, and boy, it has paid dividends. To the middle, out to Bird. From outside the arc, on the wing, Bird. Five on the clock. Outside for Wen Benyama. Launches it. That's in. Coming off the assist from O'Neal. Nine points for Victor Rembenyama. 
Now here's James. He has seven. And stolen by LeBron. Outside Durant. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll go to the line to shoot three. What we know about Kevin Durant is this is a seasoned veteran who is so comfortable in his own skin. For Kevin Durant, it's about the purity of the game and the competition. He hits the second from the line. And he nails the third. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. That's what we call a power finish. There's no such thing as gentle for the big man. The points coming in bunches as we wrap up the third quarter. It's been a good one. Miami leads by five. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. And so James will bring it up for Albuquerque. Trailing by five. Rem Benyama, a screen. James, no good. Wembenyama. Nice form on the 20-footer. Wembenyama's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for Miami. Bird outside. Screen by O'Neal. On the wing, James. From the arc. Rebound by Yao. Miami leading by seven. And Benyama, that's for two. And it's Miami with another. And you can feel the excitement in the building. Both of these teams pouring it on. There's been a bit of a flurry here late, and this game may come down to which side gets a stop or two. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. When Benyama gets the bucket. Sometimes you watch Wimbiyama and think this guy is a cheat code, hitting threes at well over seven feet tall. Now here's James. And they get it. Whoa! James showing the range! Yeah, not a lot to be done if LeBron gets a solid screen in a pick and roll set like that one. And you have to like how they're moving the ball right now. Snappy passes to ready shooters. It's basketball 101. But boy, is it working. And the dunk by Abdul Jabbar. I'll bet even they didn't think the pick would work that well. No, no, no. And they get the major league dunk out of it, too. And my question is, where was the help? Someone rotate over and challenge. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Could there be any doubt? I mean, Bird's such a dead-eye shooter. Sometimes this guy practices threes with his eyes closed. Now, here's Adi de Kumbo. And when Benyama throws it down. He's carried this team to this lead on his back, handling almost all the scoring duties. Here's O'Neal. Uses the glass to finish the lane. It's a tall challenge trying to contain Shaq, especially when he's operating close to the basket. Guy has a good chance for them to slow it down. Yeah, they definitely should use some clock here. To the paint. Yeah. <laughs> It is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Now, here's Doncic. Dustin Nowitzki. And again, Albert with the triple. 
I tell you, it's been a long time since Dirk lacked for confidence in catch and shoot situations. Lights out. Abdul Jabbar with the ball. Bruiser picks him up. Nice work to get it inside and draw contact. Hey guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Miami? I'm in love with how they're moving the basketball all game long and also their ability to move without the ball. That style just makes it so difficult to defend. The other thing for this team today, they have a bunch of second chance points. They're turning misses into makes. Now, here's Doncic. Nailed from three-point land. Yeah, coming down the stretch, they've become reliant upon their perimeter game. Boy, the three-point arc has been a major factor in what they've done here tonight. You love the aggressiveness. And not much you can do defensively once Kareem gets the ball in that close. Too much height, too much talent. A shot by McGrady, no good. So it's Miami now, and the basket is good. And now an 11-point Miami lead. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. Yeah, playing with great energy and great effort. And as a coach, you'd love to see this from your team every single night. Nowitzki. And staying with the play, Nowitzki. Wow, that's just great persistence from Nowitzki. Tracks down the offensive board thanks to his outstanding positioning. Screen by Giannis. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by McGrady. In the corner, it's Boozer. Nowitzki a screen. Boozer wide open. He fires. The shot, no good. Pass to Wembenyama. And so it's Miami winning this one. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment.